the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear sisters and brothers the gospel today is an invitation to repentance an invitation with a warning if you do not repent you will all perish everything perishing happening to us is because of our sin but that should not make us discouraged we have a god waiting to forgive waiting to take the sins away when powers of sin get rooted in us and addictions get strong in us we get depressed or oh, no it is in such moments we need to know what jesus said if the son sets you free you shall be free indeed the lord is waiting to forgive us and set us free let's turn to him and offer to him everything sinful all the addictions and habits of sin and confess together i confess to a mighty god and to you, my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray may your grace o lord we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans chapter 8 1 to 11 there is now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death for god has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh but according to the spirit for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit to set the mind on the flesh is death but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace for the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to god it does not submit to god's law indeed it cannot and those who are in the flesh cannot please god but you are not in the flesh you are in the spirit if the spirit of god really dwells in you anyone who does not have the spirit of christ does not belong to him but if christ is in you although your bodies are dead because of sin 
your spirits are alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will give you life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit who dwells in you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O If a man loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 1 to 5. At that time, some people who were present there told him about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem. By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, the life of Jesus was a constant invitation to repentance. Turn to God. God is waiting to usher in the kingdom. Receive the kingdom into your heart, into your midst, by turning to God, turning away from sin. And that's how he started his public ministry. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. That's how Jesus ended. The final message was this. Luke chapter 24. Jesus said, repentance. And forgiveness of sins should be preached 
to the ends of the earth. At one time, Jesus spoke of the beauty of repentance. Jesus said, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And today's gospel, repentance is given as a warning. If you do not repent, you will all perish. The context is this. The people reminded Jesus of two disastrous events of the time. Pilate was known for his penchant for brutality. But then he intended something good. Jerusalem city had always the problem of scarcity of water. He thought he would solve it once and for all, and therefore he erected huge towers in low-lying areas and built an aqueduct to bring water from a faraway place. And as the work was going on, there was no money in the treasury. Rome would not give money. Rome came to plunder the Jews and take money to Rome. Therefore, Pilate thought he would take the money from the temple treasury. The Galilean Jews objected. Galileans are supposed to be hot-blooded people. They went in protest. And Pilate retaliated. When they came to Jerusalem for sacrifice, Pilate sent soldiers, Roman soldiers, in civil dress and massacred. Within the temple, nobody knows how many were killed. One event. The other event. A tower in Siloam that was holding the aqueduct, the tower fell, and 18 people died. A natural calamity and a disastrous event. And the people brought them to the notice of Jesus. Usually, when such calamities happen, first we blame God. And we blame those who suffered, they were sinners, and therefore they suffered for their sin. Now, Jesus rejected both these opinions. Jesus said they were not worse sinners than others. No. Jesus said, do not turn away from God because of such disasters, but turn away from sin. Look at yourself. Every natural disaster, every terrible thing happening is a warning. I need to turn to God. I need to find my life in God. A warning to repent and find salvation in the Lord. You know, my dear friends, even today, when pandemic began to break out, a lot of people blamed the people who died. Ah, uh, they were sinful, and um, that's why they were punished. Then they turned against God. How can God do this? But people did not look into their own hearts. There was sin in their hearts. We can never blame those who die or suffer because of uh, such events. No. We can never blame God. God does not punish anyone. No. God does not bring in such disasters. Never. It's all human error. But when such terrible things happen, I should know. I need to turn to God and find my salvation in him. Because if there is sin in me, sin will bring in more terrible disasters. Therefore, every time something wrong happens to others, I need to ask myself, how close am I to God? How far have I gone away from God? And repent. Turn to God. Find my safety 
and my salvation in him ultimately god alone is our salvation this teaching of jesus is very relevant today when people are blaming people are angry people are guilty people are arrogant and people find life meaningless but this is the time this pandemic is a time i need to turn to god and find my future in him the future of my family in him so that i'm saved ultimately amen that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept o lord the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through christ our lord Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the font of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Lord, by your cross and resurrection You have set us free You are the Savior of the world Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Renchit, our Archbishop, all his auxiliary bishops, all the bishops and priests and religious and lay leaders everywhere in the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the same verse, command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her Peace and unity in accordance with your world, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Divine Retreat Center begins the weekly residential retreats in English from the 31st of October, Sunday to Friday. Only those who are completely vaccinated with both doses and have made the prior registration will be allowed for the retreat. For prior registration, contact us on plus 9194 Four six five six nine nine six six. Email us at divine retreat center at gmail dot com.